what is up you guys welcome back to my channel I know okay I know some of you guys are looking at that title like Anicia what listen if you follow me on Instagram then you kind of already know what happened but you don't know what happened um, if that makes sense um, many of you are probably wondering why have I not been posting for vlogmas <sighs> you guys I'm so tired of excuses like shut up right but this is what's going on. This is real, okay? On Tuesday, I almost got arrested. But before we get into the vlog and get into the story time, really quickly, I wanna thank StoryWorth for sponsoring today's video. Check it out. I'm sorry to interrupt this amazing video, but I have something for you. If you guys are struggling this holiday season to find something meaningful and thoughtful to give to one of your loved ones, I have just the thing for you guys. This is StoryWorth. StoryWorth is sponsoring today's video and they are an amazing company if you guys have never heard of them. StoryWorth is an online company that helps you and your family members store your guys' precious memories for years to come, you guys. You guys are probably wondering, what am I holding in my hand? Obviously, it's a book, but look who's on the cover. That's my mom and Juliet. This book means so much to me, and it's gonna mean so much to generations to come. I was struggling for a minute, because I was like, what am I gonna get my mom for Christmas? What does she want? And when I asked my mom, like she's always just like, oh, anything. So I knew that it had to be meaningful, you know what I mean? So to sum it all up, it's super easy to do. StoryWorth will email a loved one of your choice, whoever you're gifting this to, and every single week they'll ask them a new question and your loved one will answer it and they will put together this amazing book of stories, pictures, memories. It's honestly so amazing and I've never seen anything like this. Especially since the holidays are coming up, this takes no time to be delivered since it's digital. Everything is really easy and it's something that the entire family can enjoy together. One of my favorite questions that I ask is right here in the book. It says, what are my go-to stories, ones I like telling over and over? And we all know our grandmas, grandpas, moms, dads, they all have those couple of stories that they're like, okay, mom, we've heard this so many times already, but now you guys can keep it in a book and just reread it whenever you want to, or they can. You guys know how much I love books, so letting this go to my mom is gonna be a little bit hard, but who knows, she might let me keep it, and if she does, I'm gonna store it right here on my black shelf with my other really meaningful books. With StoryWorth, I am giving my loved ones a thoughtful gift from the heart and preserving their stories for years to come. Right now, you guys can go to storyworth.com slash life of us and save $10 on your first purchase. Again, you can go to storyworth.com slash life of us and save $10 on your first purchase. All right, guys, let's get back into the video. We're back. So I have some clips filmed from just a couple of days before and then I also have some clips. I have one clip from Thanksgiving and it's like of all the food and all the goodness and it just looks amazing. But I know the reason you guys clicked on this video is because you want to know what happened, right? So I'll get into that. I won't be an asshole, okay? But make sure you guys watch the rest of the vlog, okay? As a lot of you guys know, I am 21 years old and I don't have a license. Cute, right? It's not. It's really not cute. My reason for never getting a license is just because I just had anxiety about getting it, all right? Long story short, I just had anxiety. Now, it was a sunny Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> it was Tuesday. I was on my way home from picking up Juliet from school. I had just picked her up. She was in the car with me. There's other kids getting out of school. There's kids walking around. You know, it's school hours, okay? I drive past this school and once I got to the light at the end of the block, like I already passed all the signs that said like slow down for kids and all that stuff. I already passed all those. Once I got past all those signs, there's a light right there, like a red light, you know, whatever. So I slow down, stop at the red light. Red light turns green and I go. According to the police officer that pulled me over, he said that I sped off at the light. No, I, no, I did not. No, I didn't. He said that he caught me going 38 in a school zone. Obviously, school zones are 25 miles per hour. Me not having my license, I didn't know that the whole block is a school zone. In my head, I thought once you get past those signs that say, you know, the slow down for kids or whatever, I thought once you get past those, you're good. Go 45, right? Go the speed limit. <laughs> On that street, it's 45. Apparently not. No, apparently not. Apparently you need to be, apparently, apparently you need to be going the school zone speed limit for like three blocks. Even though nobody does that, I've never seen anyone do. It's my fault. 
it's okay. So I take off at the light and I'm driving, listening to music with Jules and all of a sudden I look in my rear view mirror and I hear wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. and I see red and blue lights. So me being me, you know, I'm thinking, oh, let me move out of his way. He's obviously trying to get, he's trying to get somebody. He's, you know, he's trying to get somewhere. Let me move out of his way real quick. Put on my blinker, I go to the right. He stays behind me. And I'm like, um, okay, uh, that's a little weird. <laughs> Maybe he needs a turn, that's what it is, right? So I turn, right, and uh, he stays behind me. So I'm, I'm like, um, okay, so. I realize that I'm getting pulled over. I look at Juliet, cause she's in the back seat, and I say, baby, stay calm, don't say anything. A police officer is pulling us over. Immediately, Juliet goes, are you going to jail? <laughs> I don't even know, I don't know. But I had to hold it together. Oh my God, am I crying? Obviously, I'm freaking out, right? On the inside, not on the outside, cause then I don't want her to freak out. So I tell her, no, I'm not gonna get arrested. I don't know why he's pulling us over. We'll see right now. So she stays quiet, you know, she's fine. Police officer comes up to the window and he's like, can I get your license or registration? And immediately I'm like, I don't have a license. So he's like, okay, do you, can I get registration, insurance stuff? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, I grab that stuff from him. He goes, why are you driving without a license? And I say to him, I just haven't got it. That's what I said. I just, I just haven't got my license. And he said, okay, um, you know why I pulled you over today? And I said, uh, no, I don't. And he said, yeah, so I got you going 38 in a school zone. I saw you at the light and you were the only car that took off. And um, it's a school zone, there's kids around. And I said, was I? I don't, I don't believe I did do that. I don't know. I don't think I did that. And he said, just hang tight. I'm gonna go run all this stuff, right? So he goes to his motorcycle, it was a motorcycle cop. And I'm boom, 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 boom. Like my heart is racing. Cause I know what happens when you get pulled over and you don't have a license. Impound, car gets towed, you're going to jail. No, I'm just like, no, you're not going to jail. I knew I wasn't going to go to jail, but also I didn't really know. You know, I didn't know what was about to happen. Juliet is completely fine in the back seat. She's like, mom, can I eat my popcorn in my backpack? And I'm like, yeah. She's eating her popcorn out of her backpack. She's like, I'm bored. And I'm like, I'm not, okay, baby. I'm, your car is getting taken. So the police officer comes back up to the window and he's like, all right, so uh, do you have anybody that can come pick you up right now? And I said, yeah, I, I have some people, why? And he said, so I'm gonna impound the car. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. He's like, I'm gonna impound the car and I'm gonna give you a ticket today for speeding. And I'm also gonna give you another ticket for not having a driver's license. And I'm like, all right. So, so I call my sister and I tell her like, hey, can you please come and get me? Mind you, my sister lives 25 minutes away from me. The cop tells me, all right, you know, call your sister, call a ride. I'm gonna call the tow truck or whatever. So I'm like, shit. Mind you, I can't even call or text Devonte and let him know any of this is happening because he's in the academy and they're not allowed to have their phones on them until they get out, which is at five o'clock. We're waiting, the tow truck pulls up, we're waiting, waiting, waiting. Cops asking me, when is your sister gonna be here? When is your sister gonna be here? I'm like, she's coming, she's 10 minutes away, she's five minutes away, she's at the light. Cop comes over, signs, he gives me my ID back and he gives me my ticket back. My sister tells him, there's no way, like anybody, we could, I can't call nobody just to drive the car. And he goes, no, unfortunately not, because she's driving without a license by law, I have to take the car for 30 days. 30 days. <sighs> on top of that, for those of you who don't know, when your car is impounded, every single day they charge you, whether it's $100, $30, $20. For us, it's $65 a day times 30. You do the math. So my sister's like, damn. She's like, okay, well, can the owner of the car get it out? Devante. And he's like, unfortunately, no, not in this case. The only way this car can get out 
before the 30 days is if she gets her license. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, if you get your license. And he goes, it's, it doesn't even have to be the card license. As soon as just you get your paper saying that you are you have a license. And my sister's like, oh, like her permit. And he goes, no, her license. He goes, as soon as you just get that paper, you bring it down to the police department, we'll release your car. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't do this. No, 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 no. Tow guy takes the car, I get in the car with my sister, and I'm just sitting there like, I did not just get pulled over for speeding and not having a license, and they took our car for 30 days. I called Devontae's mom, and I'm like, hey, can you take me to go pick up Devontae? This is what happened. She's like, yeah, I'm on my way. So his mom comes to pick up me and Juliet. We go to get him. Around the time that he's supposed to get out, he ends up calling me, and he's like, what happened? I tell him everything, and he's like, I'm coming. I'm coming right now gets out, he gets in the car, and he's like, what happened? I tell him, and obviously he's he's frustrated, you know, rightfully so. And he's like, oh my God. And then he goes, where's your ticket? Let me see your ticket. And I'm like, what? And he's like, your ticket. And I was like, I, I don't know. And he's like, what do you mean you don't know? He didn't give you a ticket? And I was like, no, he did, which cause he did. I signed for it and everything. And I was like, yeah but I don't know where it is. And he looks at his mom and he goes, how do you lose your ticket? And I lost it, okay? I'm like, I don't even remember what I said, but I know that I lost it. And I have never raised my voice at Devonte in front of his mom. But that day I was like, boom, boom, boom. You know, I didn't say nothing crazy disrespectful, but like I did raise my voice. His mom takes us home. I'm frustrated, you know. Juliet goes upstairs. I go inside our pantry and I proceed to cry. So the next day comes, I tell Devonte basically the whole story again. And I tell him, look, I'm just happy because now not only is this gonna force me to get my license, I'm gonna have to get my license now, which is gonna be cool in the end because I'm gonna be a licensed driver, you know, whatever. I know how to drive. I know I, I can get my license. It's my fault, you know, I, I was speeding. You know, I'm, I'm driving without a license. It, it was all my fault and I just feel like the cop was nice to me and he was just doing his job. Everybody that I've told that to has told me, Anicia, yes, you know, but the cop was an asshole. Because everyone's saying like, he didn't have to tow my car, you know, he could have let me call somebody that does have a license to pick up my car. Um, you know, he could let the owner, Devonte, get the car out. Like, everyone's telling me this. Devonte then tells me, you know, he could have arrested you. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he goes, I get, like, you are definitely kind of lucky though because he could have arrested you. You were speeding in a school zone with a child in the car with no license. And I kind of sat back and was like, I guess you're right. I was going 38 in a 25. I wasn't going 100 or nothing like that, but it's still considered speeding because it's a school zone. So, you know, I, I'm really grateful that he just gave me a ticket and that he didn't arrest me. You know, that would have been very traumatic for Juliet and I don't know how I would have taken that. You know, that would have been crazy. The next day comes, me and Devontae are talking about all that, you know, whatever. I go to the DMV, Devontae's mom takes him to the academy. Miss G, thank God for Miss G because she took me, like she took me everywhere in the morning. She takes me to the DMV, we're in line for like an hour and a half. We're talking about our IDs and, oh wait, I didn't even tell you guys. After I went off on Devontae because he told his mom like, how do you lose your ticket? You know, talking about me. Um, he said that because obviously I didn't know where my ticket was. I left my ticket in the car. Yeah, I didn't take my ticket out. I left my ticket in the car. So fast forward to now, you know, I'm in the DMV line. It's been an hour and a half. Me and Miss G are talking about our IDs. And I'm like, yeah, my ID is actually really cute. Do you want to see it? She's like, yeah. I go to look for my ID. I keep like my important stuff in the back of my phone. I go to grab my ID. My ID is not there. My ID is not there. Did I mention also, sorry if I'm all over the place. Did I mention I was at the DMV to take my written test? You obviously need to bring a form of identification, things that have your address on it, your social, birth ticket, all that stuff, right? I thought I had my ID on me, but I didn't. 
So now we're in line and I start to freak out again. I'm like, oh my God, like, where's my ID? Like, did I leave my ID in the car too with my ticket? Like, are you joking? Miss G is like, calm down. It's completely fine. You have your social, you have your birth certificate. You have things to prove that you are you. You're fine. Immediately I get on my phone. I start looking for a picture of my ID because I know I have one. I end up finding a picture of my ID. Thank God. We get up to the line, I show them my ID. She's like, okay, you're all good. Here's a ticket, wait for your, your number or whatever. And I'm like, oh, what about, you know, my stuff that I brought? My 60 page lease that I printed out this morning for you to look at, what about this stuff? And she says, we don't need any of that. You have a real ID, we already have, you know, we don't need that stuff. And I was like, okay, so I brought all this for nothing. But it's okay, cause it's fine, you know? So I go, we wait, I take my written test, and your girl passed. <laughs> yeah, your girl passed. I only missed like three, I believe. After I pass my written test, I make my appointment for the very next day to take my driving test. My sister picks me up, we go to the DMV to practice just for an hour or so before I actually have to take my test. The guy who's gonna, you know, test my driving or whatever, he starts the test. We start doing the whole, you know, show me your blinker, show me your lights, tail lights, whatever it is. He start, we start doing all that. Check, check, check. And then he says, uh, your horn, go ahead and honk your horn for me to make sure, you know, that I, it works. So it's a, it's a safety issue. Mind you, this is my sister's car. So I go, okay, try to honk the horn. Nothing happens. So I'm like, sorry, I, I don't think I pushed it hard enough, my bad. I push it down again, nothing happens. So then he's like, hmm, and I'm like, hold on. And I start like giving this steering wheel CPR, right? And nothing is happening, you guys, nothing is happening. So I look at him and he goes, is that the owner of the car? Like points over there to my sister. Cause nobody's in the car. Nobody could be in the car with you. And I'm like, yeah, it's my sister's car. And he goes, let me go let her know. So he walks over, tells my sister something. They both come back and my sister's like, like what, what is it? And I'm like, look dude, like it's not working. So she's like, what the heck? She tries it and it's not working. And she's like, what? So we both look at him and he goes, she's gonna have to reschedule for another day. The horn has to work. And my heart dropped. Because not only does that mean another day of $65 getting added on to the tow yard holding my car, but also that means I'm not getting my car back after I thought I was gonna be able to get it back that day when I got my license. Obviously it's nothing that we could have controlled. Like how the heck were we supposed to know? You know what I mean? Like. Nobody uses their horn every single day, so my sister would not have known that her horn wasn't working. I look online to make another driving test appointment for the next day, which would have been Friday. There's nothing available. I look at another DMV close by, nothing available. I look at another DMV close by, nothing available. So then I'm like, you know what? Let me try Madeira, Visalia, Sanger. Let me try everywhere around us, even if it's 30, 45 minutes away, because I need to get my license before the weekend comes and we can do nothing about it until next week, right? There's nothing available. I ended up making an appointment for Monday. So now it's just a waiting game. We gotta wait till Monday to see. I'm getting my license. Like I'm getting my license on Monday. I'm passing the test, okay? First and foremost. But yeah, that's what happened. That's how I almost got arrested. And that's how I'm being forced to get my license. So, little word of advice. If you are somebody like me and you've been driving around riding dirty, trying to get me riding dirty, and you think it's funny, okay? Because I thought that shit was funny. Y'all know I was making jokes and stuff about it. That shit is not funny. Get your license, okay? Get your license, boys and girls, they and thems, because you got to. If not, they will take your car and hold it for 30 days or until you do get your license. And then you're gonna be forced to get your license and with hella anxiety because you're gonna be like, oh my God, if I don't get my license right now today, 
I'm gonna have to wait however much longer to get my license and it's just gonna be more you know fees added on from the tow place from the police department from this this and that and uh and also go 25 in a school zone I don't care if people behind you are honking or trying to go around you because they feel like you're going too slow oh well okay let them get that ticket all right and I do want to say you know I'm very very blessed that um you know he didn't arrest me and also that I have the means to get my car out in 30 days if I have to wait or you know tomorrow if I can you know whatever it is but I have the means to do it there are people who if this would have happened to it they would have said goodbye to their car because you know what I mean like a lot of people don't have the money to do stuff like that and I'm not gonna lie I just feel like it's very unnecessary for them to be charging me every single like bro you're holding you know what let me stop I should have had my license I should have had my license you know I love you guys I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'll see you guys on another video. Don't get pulled over. <laughs>